Your life will change if you don't think on the level of your feelings. God is telling us in this scripture to think according to our faith and not to think intoxicated. Sometimes our thinking is intoxicated, meaning our thinking is not sober, meaning our thinking is filled with emotions and our circumstances to that degree that we're not thinking straight and any person who ever gets intoxicated realizes there comes a time and the, the the intoxication leaves your body and you become normal again and many people go like this through their life when something bad happens it gets into their head and it becomes intoxicated it means they think intoxicated they walk around feeling so depressed and so down until somebody gives them a hundred dollars God is good you're intoxicated you just got intoxicated with circumstances and you switch from being intoxicated from circumstances to a hundred dollars if it takes a hundred dollars to quickly shift your mood that means that you are intoxicated and not sober in your thinking because what Paul is saying is that be sober means don't think on the level of your feelings think on the level of your faith you see a man in the boat and he throws a net into the water and the secret of catching a fish is to throw the net into the water but don't ever throw yourself in the net now imagine yourself you're trying to catch fish and you throw the net into the water and then you jump into the net what's going to happen you're gonna catch you and you're gonna get trapped in the net because the way you catch some certain birds or some certain animals is you throw the net and the more movement they make the more trapped they become see the boat is the word of God it's your faith the net is your feelings when you are in the boat of God's word you can control your emotions when you leave your confidence from the word of God and you jump fully into your emotions you are trapped by the devil the devil cannot trap a Christian who is ruled by the Word of God. Say this out loud after me. Say, the devil cannot trap me if I am ruled by the Word of God. If you are ruled by the Word of God, he cannot trap you. As a Christian, remain in the boat and throw the net outside. Don't throw yourself into the net or else you will become trapped in the net. And many people become trapped in their feelings. When you are ruled by your feelings and you think on the level of your feelings and this is like this. I feel down, I must be down. I feel rejected, uh, I must be rejected. I feel poor, my circumstances are saying I am poor, I must be poor. I feel sick, I must be very sick. When you begin to think on the level of your feelings, you become trapped by your feelings. It takes one bad thing to happen and your confidence in the Word of God goes outside of the window because you're not based in a boat that's solid. The net will fluctuate. Your feelings are not constant. Your feelings, like I mentioned, it takes one good thing. For some of you, it takes a cup of coffee and you will regain your smile. And for some of you, it takes one small thing as like dropping your keys and you drop your attitude that's why you must understand one thing if you're 20 or 15 your feelings are like a net you have to control them but don't get yourself into them because once you do satan will control you the way he wants to control you satan cannot control you if you are ruled by the word of god it doesn't mean he cannot attack you. I'm not saying he cannot influence you. I'm not saying he's not going to try to control you. But what I'm saying, he will not have a grip on your life when you are standing in the boat and in the confidence. God said it and it settles it. Only then you can control your feelings. People many times say, I cannot control my feelings. The only place you cannot control your feelings is the place if you're not in the boat of God's word. Now the story that I love from the Bible is the story of Jesus standing at the tomb of Lazarus and this picture is actually the actual tomb from Jerusalem and in this 
story we see Jesus facing the tomb and we know that Lazarus is dead Lazarus is gone it's been it's been a few days already and what I love about Jesus is that Jesus faces the tomb and Jesus weeps so he feels the death he feels the grave and he feels so much that he weeps he groans yet after all of it is done the Bible says he opened his mouth and he said Lazarus come out Jesus felt on the level of death but never thought on the level of death sometimes we feel like I have to think on the level of my feelings you don't you can serve divorce papers to your feelings and your thoughts you can tell your feelings you can fluctuate but my thoughts will come from my faith you can have tears like prophet tb joshua says that a man of faith he swallow his tears but he will describe the taste of honey a man of faith is not someone who has no bad feelings it's not someone who doesn't feel fear or who doesn't feel doubt or who doesn't feel confusion sometimes who doesn't feel hard things he might even feel it to the degree the tears are rolling down his eyes but he never thinks on the level of his tears he never thinks on the level of his feelings he never thinks on the level of his paycheck he never thinks on the level of doctor's report he thinks higher than his feelings and that's why he's able to speak to the Lazarus and say Lazarus come out why because I feel down I think up I feel death but I think life I feel grave but I think resurrection and what you think is what you're gonna have in your life as man thinketh so is he the Bible says